the worst part is dinner. I feel like I could make it through juices through the day, but dinner, I want to sit down, I want to eat. <laughs> you don't get to. It's so boring. Wah. I'm Susan Yara. And I'm Ana Jimenez. We're beauty editors at New Beauty Magazine. We try every new treatment, product, trend, you name it. Sometimes we love it, and sometimes not so much. But it's always an experience. This is Beauty Experience. Juice cleanses are controversial. People either are for them or they're against them. I myself am a fan. Susan, on the other hand, is not. In this episode, we set off to investigate both sides of the argument. First stop, I meet up with nutrition experts Mara St. Clair and Lori Kenyon Farley to learn how to juice. The idea of doing a cleanse is that our body actually has internal cleansing organs, but because we eat a lot of non-organic foods or processed foods or environmental toxins, our body can't always keep up. And so to the extent that you give it a break from all of those things for a few days and really load up on organic nutrients. And but, we're sticking to all organic? Yes, when you do a cleanse, it's really important that you use organic ingredients. They're higher in nutrient density and that's the only food you're getting. Okay. And then also we're trying to remove toxins so we don't want to add any more during the cleanse. In a three day cleanse, you're going to be consuming like 40 pounds of produce approximately. Wow, that's very intense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can imagine that all of this goes into one juice. Right. People think of cleansing or juicing, I think, as depriving themselves, when in reality you can see that you're getting a lot more nutrition than you probably eat in your normal day. Let's get started. What are we making first? Our first juice will be the lemon green, and it's a great way to start off your day. It has leafy greens um, that are very high in nutrients and antioxidants. Antioxidants are the building block of your cells. They're really the thing that can help rejuvenate your skin, help mm. us not look so tired anymore. Um, it's got apples, which add to the flavor. Make it delicious to drink. Mm -hmm. And okay. also very cleansing. We then also have cucumber, which helps flush the toxins from your cells. And then the lemon is a great alkalizer. It can really help to detox your liver. Mmm, this is delicious. The green apple gives it a nice sweetness. It masks the taste of the, the leafy greens a little bit. And yeah. the lemon's nice too. Yeah. So it doesn't taste just like a salad in a bottle. It's got a little bit sweeter than that. So this is a lot of vegetables and fruit into one juice. And I would normally probably wouldn't eat this in one sitting, but it's okay in the juice? Yeah, definitely. You wouldn't eat it in one sitting because in a salad it would be like this much salad, right. which is absurd. Right. But in you a juice, say. it's calorie restrictive, so it's low calories. I mean, this juice probably has maybe 100 calories in it, but it's super nutrient dense. So there's no other way that you can get that energy exchange through your food. So that's why people are replacing their morning coffee with a green juice and just having so much more energy because it's concentrated nutrients that you're Flooding consuming. your body. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, this is the, a great first one. I'm looking forward to the others because I thought this was gonna taste the worst. <laughs> um, all right, so now we're on to our next, our second drink of the morning, probably. Yeah, so okay. the first one's kind of like your breakfast, if you will. This is your mid-morning snack. Great, and what's in here? This is called our apple berry, and as you can see, there's red apples, there's strawberries, and there's blueberries. People get really freaked out about consuming juice because of sugar content. Well, you look at that bowl and you think that has to be, I would never sit down and eat that much fruit and now I'm about to drink it, it's gonna go straight to my bloodstream. Yeah, but part of what's happening in a cleanse is that you're resetting your body to metabolize foods better. So you'll be able to, even coming off of the cleanse, consume more fruit and your body will burn through it very quickly because you're resetting your metabolism. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. I really like this one, this is my fave. You'll really so appreciate far. it in between your green juices on your day of juicing. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> Six juices and 30 minutes later, I've got a full day's worth of juices to begin my cleanse. I've got lemon green, apple berry, another green juice with pineapple, spicy lemonade with cayenne, another green juice with a Mediterranean twist, and finally, a very tasty almond milk to end the day with. In the meantime, Susan, who again is not a fan of juicing, goes to find out some alternative ways to cleanse the body from Amanda Chantel Bacon, who created a juicing company called Moon Juice in Los Angeles. First off, I have to, I have to admit something. I'm not a huge fan of juicing. I love okay. juice okay. and I love your milks, but the thought of actually going on the a cleanse. cleanse. I like to think of it really more as um, feasting rather right. than fasting. Oh. When you do disengage the digestive system, mm -hmm you free up 30% of your energy to go and do other things. I've heard from nutritionists that to detox your body, you don't necessarily need to purely juice. You can have some solid foods as well, as long as they're good for you, and kind of accomplish the same effects. What do you think? There is absolutely nothing wrong with that way to cleanse. That's how I live my life almost right. every day. The body is incredible, and it 
is constantly detoxifying us. And you can be smoking and drinking and eating cheeseburgers and your body is still detoxifying. How about, so when I want to cut my hair short, mm -hmm. one of the things I do is I start slowly. Yeah. I start to trim it yeah. and then kind of get closer and closer <laughs> to the cutting it short. Right. Can you kind of ease into juicing? Can you start slowly? Maybe Absolutely. I visit Min Juice once a day and then yeah start to replace foods and then eventually maybe I'm like, okay, I wanna go for it. It's once you start to get the live enzymes and the minerals into your body, your body recognizes that, is grateful for that, mm -hmm. it moves towards that more. One green juice a day I can handle. And that's what Susan did. She replaced her morning coffee with a green juice for three days, while I decided to sign up for a full three-day cleanse with Zen Foods. I have to say that Susan definitely got off easy because this is how I felt during each day of my cleanse. I'm only on juice number two, which is the green goddess, but right now it tastes delicious. I have another day tomorrow, uh, unfortunately. Overall, it was a good experience. Um, I've been a lot really hungry, unfortunately. I feel hydrated. In the end, we sat down with Derek Johnson, Executive Nutrition Director at The Biggest Loser Resorts, to find out what juicing really does to our bodies, and if it's even necessary at all. We've both tried juice cleanses yes. multiple days, and I kind of always, well, I was kind of told that it's a good way to restart your body, especially if you wanted to start a new, healthy eating regimen. Uh, the way I look at it is like this. If someone was off for 51 weeks out of the year, and then they were good for one week, it doesn't erase the 51. You have to remember, you can't trick the human body. It really knows what's going on. So it's good for the change, because it does change some of the chemistry when you do something different. Mm -hmm. But you want to incorporate in that things you should be doing anyway, right? Eating fruits and vegetables, pairing foods together, and then exercise is huge for cleansing and detoxifying. It's a bigger component than any you know, juice could ever be. Mm -hmm. So the, the answer would be bring in, the, bring in the doing something different. But it's about what we're not putting in our body. There's no dairy, right? Not that all dairy is bad. There's no wheat, there's no sugar, there's no caffeine, and there's no alcohol. Right. So you take those things out, and even if you just ate clean, you're gonna feel better. Right. You don't need an extreme to, to kind of get there. Right. So you would never tell someone to do then a three-day all-juice cleanse? Never. I would not recommend it. I would say take your three-day juice thing, because people are like, I'm gonna do it, and the rule is then don't just spike your insulin. Add in some, I mean, how bad can almonds be and like some healthy like coconut oil or something like that during a three day right. you know, cleanse. It's only gonna help you, not hurt you. So it's a great way to, we'd wanna add into what we're already currently doing and again, use it as a type of a snack. So I think it's finding out the right strategic way to use it in your own personal life right. and just getting the right information. You know what I'm gonna do right now? What? I'm gonna go eat some almonds to uh, accompany my juice. So you're balancing, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's what I'm doing.